Yo guys, what is up? What's going on? Something that I get asked most frequently about is my headlights on my 2016 WRX. If you guys have been following the channel for some time now, you'll remember many years back, it was the first company that I ever had the amazing opportunity to work with, and that is ProLights. And I did quite a few modifications to the lighting setup on my WRX. It was one of the first things that I did. And it's held on for all this time, and it still looks really good. I love how it looks, and so I wanted to show you guys kind of an in-depth explanation of the setup. Right now, what you're looking at is just the Dio Dynamics Switchback C-Lights. So right now, it's on the DRL parking mode, and I'll show you guys why it's the switchback. If I put my turn signal on, you'll see that the C lights, as well as the S4 bezels down below, are signaling. So when I'm parked, or have the car turned off, um, or I have the lights on the automatic mode, this is what they turn on to uh, whenever the either I unlock the car or I put the key to accessory mode of the car's parked. Now, my DRL setup when I'm just driving around in the daytime only functions when my e-brake is down and the car's on. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Turn the car on, put the e-brake down. So this is what it looks like when I'm just driving around day to day. In the daytime, I've got the S4 switchback bezels down below from Pro Lights, and then the Dio Dynamics switchback C lights up top, and they work together to function my turn signals. When I'm just daytime driving and have my signals on, this is what it looks like. In the nighttime, when it's dark out, I obviously need a lot more lighting, so I put my normal headlights on. I'll show you what those look like. So, this would be my setup as I'm driving around at nighttime, exactly like this. The projector, uh, stock LEDs are on, and that's what it looks like. Now if it's like really rainy out or really snowy out, I can turn on my fog lights. And those are the Morimoto XB LED fog lights, also from ProLights. And I've got a yellow film over top. And they light out quite a nice yellow output. Now I'll show you guys something pretty cool. When I turn on my high beams, the fog lights don't stay on, that's with every Subaru. But my high beams looks like this. The S4 bezels come on because they're set up to my DRLs. My normal headlight LEDs are on. And then my previously old like DRL headlights become only high beams. And I have the yellow ones from Pro Lights. And I have those because yellow is a good color in like poor weather. And I only use my, my high beams when I'm out in the country when it's really dark. And I just find that it works really good in this climate if it's snowing or anything like that. Uh, it just throws good light output and I can see quite far. And the glare on like animals' eyes, like when I'm driving out far in the country, sometimes I see a lot of coyotes or deer. And this just seems to do a really good job at like reflecting off their eyes uh, quite far away. And then I can see them and slow down, you know quite quickly so I don't hit them or anything like that, but this is my high beam setup. Now when I'm out at car shows and I want to run the Demon Eyes, someone asked me if I still have them or not, um, I open up the app on my phone and then the Demon Eyes will turn on, just like that. And then I can actually just change the color through the app here right on my phone or I can go to a different theme and it will look like that. I often get asked how the lighting setup affects my battery life, and I can confirm I've had 
the sea lights and the demon eyes together on for like four, almost five hours at car shows. And I've never had a problem with my battery dying. Although if you follow, you know I've upgraded that battery to a different one than the factory one because that one died after a year and a half and they wouldn't warranty it for me. So I did end up buying a newer, it's like a, it's just like a cheap one from Canadian Tire, but it is a 660 CCA battery. So it's a bit better. But overall, I'm really happy with the lighting setup still, you know, three years in, it, it works really good for me. This winter, I'm actually gonna be doing something pretty cool, a new company that I'm gonna partner up with called Rally Innovations. I'll uh, leave it at that and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be doing on the WRX for the winter. Obviously, you know, the splitter and the canards all come off for the winter and I'm gonna try and go for like an off-road look this winter and hopefully get out to the mountains more with the WRX in the snow even and go on some adventures and film that and have fun. So yeah guys, that's it for the video here. Next time someone asks me about the setup, now I can kind of send them this video maybe and uh, I mean, I'm always happy to answer questions, but I know a video might be a little bit better to explain the setup and you can see exactly what it looks like. If you guys have any questions, as always, drop a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. And as always, again, thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a good day or night, whatever it is where you are.